This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial we're gonna be spawning objects in random places. So this is extremely useful if you are creating some, let's say, platformer game. Uh, let's say you want, uh, you just want to add a replayability to your game. So every time you start a game or begin play, uh, actor is gonna be on the different place. So let's go and start uh, To do this we're gonna need one blueprint actor and couple target points So first I'm gonna create blueprint class actor and for my uh, case I have flashlight So here I'm just gonna put it uh, static mesh and I'm gonna find flashlight like this and um, uh, <clears throat> like that this is gonna be fine let's check it in the real world how it looks like yeah that's gonna be okay so of course you're gonna have your actors for the game right your items uh, so how would you go about this uh, so I'm gonna choose. Uh, I'm gonna choose random spawn points here, uh, and for this tutorial, I will use these cubes. These are uh, not cubes. Uh, these uh, circular shapes here to present you with random uh, spawn points. Of course, you can put it wherever you want on the map. It doesn't have to be this close, like I'm gonna do it right now. So, quickly add to the project. You can. Press place actors panel to have easier time and just search for target target point so I will have one here of course you can have your target points uh, wherever you like in the in the world uh, so when you pull it out just uh, if it's not aligned to the floor just just press and key and it's gonna be on the floor and I'm gonna place a couple more and I can also hold Alt, left click to create another one. So this is my four target points. To, to demonstrate I will also put one here, like that. So now I need to select all five of them here that I have. So depending, uh, for example, if you want um, if you want items, so I want my flashlight to specifically be spawning on these points. But for example, if you don't want you, your item 1 to spawn here and only item 2, you can also choose this or you can even randomize uh, the actors. So to show you this, I can make, uh, if I duplicate my flashlight two times, let's say I have here. Um, I'll make this one a red flashlight and I'll make this one blue okay so right now I have three kinds of flashlights um, and now I can go into my so I need to select my target points again so this is very very nice way to do this so when you selected all five of them, open level blueprint and just get the reference for them. So you will find create reference to five selected actors. Do that. Out of these actors, we're gonna make array. The um, the order doesn't matter so we can add one two three four more pins like this and from the array we're gonna get so we're getting a copy and this integer is basically this zero one two three four that's the number so to randomize it thanks god Unreal Engine has this beautiful node called random integer in range so from one from 0 to 4 even though we have 5 
um, in uh, C++ and most programming languages the number one is the first one is actually zero so if you have five stuff uh, five uh, target points you're gonna have four in the array because of a uh, zero one two three four okay so <coughs> this works uh, also to prove it it's totally random we can uh, print string and we are gonna do that from the event begin play so call here event begin play so we are right now in the third person map so we are in our level blueprint so first I'm gonna print string here like this this is just to show you it's random so compile one 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 two zero three two so it's random we can delete that so here we are gonna get actor transform and what this does is we are basically getting the location of the points so every point has its location and return value is very important to be transformed because we are gonna spawn after from class just like you would spawn it the usual way so here I'm gonna change um, I can so basically I can uh, make um, random actor right so I can um, get this and uh, oh actually what I can do here is um, first let's uh, check with the one so for example my flashlight here so if I just press play now it's gonna spawn in one of these points um, so flashlight yeah it's gonna spawn in one of these points so as you can see here it's spawned on this one uh, you need to be careful with the collision stuff but it's probably a problem in my actor not the target point but to make it uh, look better I'm just gonna put it a little bit up you need to tweak around this depending on your actors so it's not on this floor so it is on the fifth one as you can see now it's again on the um, target point one now it's again on the top now it's on this so basically you get a point it's totally randomized so now um, from uh, the spawn actor BP flashlight we can actually create a custom event so create new custom event and say it uh, flashlight randomize so once we made this uh, now we can start with randomizing which kind of um, flashlight we want uh, here I'll delete this I was testing something um, so we have this code here and here we can call random uh, sorry we can call a flashlight randomize because in this certain uh, example I want to spawn random flashlight as we created three of those so uh, here we're gonna get random integer so random integer for uh, in range and minimum is gonna be zero maximum two because we have three types and in coding languages uh, for example C++ you have zero one two so this is three uh, so right now we will check this random range first um, if it's equal to zero if it is equal to zero then we want to spawn the black flashlight that we have spawn actor from class and it's gonna be BP flashlight because that's the default one. this spawn transform we're gonna pull it into the custom event 
and you will see later why. I will, uh, I will uh, tell you when we get to that point. But now, so if it's not zero, I want to spawn flashlight one. So if this is false, then we need to check. So just select this, Control C to copy, paste it here, and here I'm gonna spawn actor from class again. This time it's gonna be B3 flashlight one. Spawn transform, obviously going into the location, just like that. But here we're gonna check from the return value if it's equal to one. And if it is equal to one, then we're gonna branch it out. So this false goes into this branch and then we're going there. Since we are already checking if this is zero and if this is one, we don't need another branch because this is gonna be our final item. But if you have more items, you need more branches. But since we checked for one and zero, there is only thing that's left is two. So this code is not gonna get run and if we got one uh, number, one of those numbers that's before two. So we can keep it like this. And this is gonna be our blue flashlight. So as you can see here, it's gonna be full random now. If you compile, we're gonna get some errors. And that's basically because we have no locations. This uh, location is um, is set in inside of this node, but we need to connect it here. So if we compi compile and press play, as you can see, we have random blue, 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 again blue. So to make sure everything is going fine. Okay, so this is not random, I guess, because the blue... Let's just create another one, another branch, just to make sure. Just to make sure. So, this is gonna be two. Just like we made here. Zero, one, two. And let's go ahead and test it out. As you see, we have black now black, red, black, blue, black. Okay, so basically it works. Uh, we have perfectly working system here. Obviously, if you would uh, create more of this uh, stuff, if you have more items, this can get uh, messy. Uh, so make sure you make it clean with the double clicks. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a very easy way of creating this system of spawning random items. And uh, this would be perfectly used, for example, if you want to spawn different kind of guns and you don't want it to spawn only AK-47, you want it to spawn M4, you want it to spawn shotgun, so you, have, you can really randomize all of that. Or if you want to spawn food, you can spawn ra random types of food. So this is very, very useful. Very, very useful especially for the battle royale games and stuff, uh, platformers, etc. So, this is how you would go about it. Thank you guys for watching and see ya in the next video. Also, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment and I'm gonna try to do every tutorial. Bye!